Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. How is everyone? I hope everyone is doing super duper amazing. Now today, hmm, it's a big day for me because I am saying goodbye to my lovely dead locks. I am going to chop it all off. Okay, maybe not all, but I'm going to chop my hair today. I'm gonna cut it. I'm just going through one of those moments where I just need a change and plus like I have really short bits here that are annoying me. They're so short compared to, to that. Like how crazy is that? It looks like I have this sort of like mullet thing happening here, especially when I wake up, my hair's just like poof. So this has happened because I've overprocessed my hair, it's been bleached. And you know, the first couple of bleach was okay. And I think the last time I bleached it, that was when my hair was like, see you later, like goodbye. You're not doing this to me. And then it kind of just like fell off, kind of broke off. Okay, so that's like the ugly side of getting your hair bleached and having pink hair. It's really high maintenance and this sort of stuff happens. So now I am wanting something a little bit more low maintenance. I want to chop it so then these little bits don't look so short. So if I cut my hair, I think that'll be better. Plus my ends are quite dead and stuff. And I just, I just want a fresh start, okay? Hands up if you know how I feel. You know what I mean? Now, the problem is I don't know how short I want to go yet. I mean, the shortest I've ever had my hair was probably like to my shoulders. I don't know if I could do shorter. Maybe, I don't know. I'll leave it up to the hairdressers and see what they think. So today I'm going to visit a salon. It's called Black Hair Salon in Singapore. I've never been there. I don't know if it's actually good, but I had a little stalk on Instagram and their work seems pretty decent. They do all like really cool funky hair colors and I'm sure they do the regular treatments and cuts and stuff as well. So I'm gonna head there today and I'm gonna bring my trusty vlog camera to film it so you guys can see the before and after. So you guys ready? Let's go. When I got to the salon, I met with Anthony, who is one of the founders of Black Hair Salon. I told him my main concerns about my hair being the breakage and my ends feeling really dry. Anthony had a good look at my hair and suggested some options, which I was really happy with. I decided to have a haircut, a scalp treatment and a hair treatment. We started off with the cut. Anthony sectioned my hair and began chopping away my dead ends, stopping at my shoulder length. Now for my hair, I requested for more of a blunt cut with not too many layers cause I wanted my ends to be quite full. So Anthony did just that. This is the first initial cut. Once we do all the treatments, Anthony's gonna go in again and do a second cut. After the first cut, my hair felt so much better already. I felt so much lighter and I was really digging my new length. Most of the dried dead bits were gone. See you later. And I love that my hair felt thicker at the ends. Usually it'll feel a lot thinner and look more ratty. Next comes the scalp treatment. This is my first time ever having a scalp treatment. Anthony explained that my scalp was quite sensitive from all the previous bleaches, which was totally true. And he recommended that I try the seaweed scalp treatment. It'll help to cleanse and nourish my scalp, which will in return provide better and healthier hair growth. So I was definitely down for that. The scalp treatment is a three-step treatment. First, an exfoliating serum was applied and rubbed onto my scalp to help to deep clean and remove any dead skin cells. After that was applied all over, I got like the best head massage ever. I could honestly sit there all day and have my head massage, but we had to move on to step two. This is the part that contained seaweed. Initially, I thought they were just gonna like slap some seaweed on my head, but fortunately it was just algae powder. So about two scoops of this powder was mixed in with essential oils to create a paste. Wow. 
once the paste was evenly mixed together, it was applied onto my scalp using a tint brush. This step is meant to help to purify and treat oily scalps. Now I get oily hair and oily scalps fairly quickly, about like the second or third day after washing my hair. So this paste was left on my hair and we moved on to the hair treatment, which was the Olaplex Two Step Salon Treatment. For those of you who don't know about Olaplex, it helps to rebuild and repair the bonds in your hair, which will help strengthen it. So step one, which is a bond multiplier, is applied all over my hair, following with step two. This is the bond perfector. And it's left on my hair for about 20 minutes. Now the thing about the Olaplex treatment is that it's great for treating damaged, process hair, but it doesn't leave the hair feeling soft and silky, so the hair can feel a little bit stiff sometimes. That's why Anthony recommended that I do an extra treatment to help condition and soften up my hair. So once the Olaplex treatment was rinsed out of my hair, the final treatment was applied and this time they used a hair steaming machine which was popped on my head for another 20 minutes. Alfred found this so entertaining, he called it like the UFO spaceship that was smoking out of my head. Once the treatment was rinsed out, we did the final step of the scalp treatment. Now this is more of like a lotion sort of thing and that's left on my head so you don't have to wash it out. And the thing with this is that it actually felt so minty and fresh and cooling on my head. Picture eating one of those like Eclipse breath mints, but on your scalp. That's exactly how it felt. Then my hair was blow dried and Anthony did the final cut. I am back and this is my new shorter haircut. What do you guys think? I opted for, I guess, a longish blob, blob, bob. <laughs> and um, I wanted something that I can kind of change my part. So like I got Anthony to kind of cut it so that I can just kind of alternate if I wanted like a middle part or a side part, it would be easy to do. He did a really good job blending all like my short bits here. I mean, they're still quite short, but it's not as obvious now. Also, my hair actually feels so healthy. I have not felt this in my hair, like the smoothness, it's so silky in a very long time. It's like I never bleached it, you know, it's like a miracle. So I love this feeling. Apparently I can't put any hot tools in it for the next two days. So uh, I, ha I haven't got the chance to curl it yet. I'll just have to wait and see. I feel like this haircut makes me look younger. Well, that's what Alfred says. He says that I look like a little girl now, you know? Mm -hmm. This is the shortest I've had my hair in a very long time, but I actually quite like it, you know? I can still tie it up, which is important, just in case, you know, the days that I'm a little bit sweaty and I want to tie my hair back, I can still do that. Um, you know what, May who knows? Maybe I'll even go shorter later on. Here's a quick before and after shot so you guys can see my hair transformation. It's a big, big difference. My hair was really dry, frizzy and just yuck in the first before photo. And then now it's actually like silky smooth. I feel like I can be in a Pantene ad. Ish. Anyways, that's it to this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming to the hairdressers with me. I feel like it's a regular thing now. I always bring you guys to the hairdressers with me, especially when I do a drastic change. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. For those of you who are gonna ask where my fruity earrings are from, today I am sporting watermelon ones. Um, they're from Caboodle Designs. I'll link them below. They have really cool, like funky, um, cute earrings. And you know, I'm like the crazy fruit lady. So I love everything fruity. This is so me. If you guys want, check them out. But yeah, that's it for now. I will speak to you guys next time. Bye.